Hi guys, this is Cy from Cy and I Software. Uh, today I'm going to go over our Scribe utility. Uh, Scribe is part of our Ignite plugin and it can be found down in the uh, utility tools under Spline and Shapes. Uh, you can also make a hotkey or toolbar uh, shortcut for it. Um, this is a combination of a lot of scripts that we've used in the past or created and um, then have now ported over to C++, so a little more stable, uh, can do uh, bigger uh, collections of splines than a script could. Uh, generally a script, as soon as it starts running out of memory, it's just white screens and it hangs up. C++, we have the ability to just do things a lot quicker, uh, a lot cleaner and faster. So. Um, let's talk about our first little section here. So uh, the first little section it has to do with exploding splines. So if we took this and say explode to shape, it's going to explode it to shapes. Uh, we take this, we say explode to segments, going to do the same thing down to every little segment of the spline. Uh, we have the, you can check on keep wire color or change name. So if we say plot underscore, and then we explode this to shapes, it's gonna keep all the wire color that the individual or the, the massive shape had in the beginning, um, but then also rename all the plots in numeric order. Um, so that's pretty much about it for the explode. Uh, the attach, we have, um, well actually, let's just take this and I'm gonna explode this into, uh, all sorts of shapes for the moment and let's get rid of this and let's put a random wire color on these for a second so I'll just go throw a random wire color on all right a um, couple of different attaches so we have basically a standard attach which just sort of does what it says on the tin it attaches basically selected objects get a little brighter wire color here um, we have attach by distance. So what this will do is if we select that, it's going to go through and find any spline that's touching each other and it's going to attach those. So that's our attach by distance. Uh, of course, attach by wire color and attach by layer. So it'll go through, find all the splines that are in that layer or sub layer and it'll attach those and so on. Um, same thing, you have a renaming as well and a weld threshold. So if you want to weld them as you attach this stuff. Um, next little section down here, pretty basic. Um, it's a uh, just a weld. So anything that you might want to go around and say bulk weld, you can. And it'll go weld all your knots together. Um, next section down here, which is we're still working on getting out for the beta. Um, so, but I have the script version here of exactly what this does. Um, it'll take CADs, like say all these individual shapes here, stuff that you might get out of CAD, which is very sloppy, overhanging lines, short lines, stuff like that. And you want to convert this all to individual shapes. Um, what this will do is, let me just select this here. I'll close this up. I'm going to run the script version of this for right now. So, select CAD plots is going to give you all individual shapes. So, it's going to go through, figure all this out, and break this all into individual shapes. So, you sort of had plot settlements. Um, it's basically a clean way of building, um, sort of cleaning up a lot of the stuff that you get out of CAD that, say, might not be... Uh, in the position to say extrude or make into mesh because a lot of times you get that whole plot thing out of CAD um, You might actually want to go and say convert this to editable mesh and A lot of stuff will just disappear because it has it can't close those faces. So it's basically sort of a cleaning tool All right, let me just open up scribe again um, next thing we have um, all up in here is our diagnostic tools. So you can simply sort of take in a thing here and say, you know, find reversed. And anything that's yellow um, isn't pertinent, pertinent to the search because it'll have some will be reversed, some are not. Um, so they're group sort of stuff. And we're going to deal with that a little bit later. 
uh, but the splines themselves, so you can simply just select a, your bad splines and say then redraw them. And what that'll do is clean up any reverse splines. Um, any of the diagnostic stuff in here uh, will react to with restore wire color because essentially what we're doing is we're giving you red, yellow, and green. Green is it passed the test. Um, uh, yellow would be not pertinent. So if it's looking for um, closed splines and it's only got a straight line, it's going to be yellow because it's, or actually, sorry, reversed. It's going to be yellow because it can't be a reversed spline because it's not closed. Um, also, when you get stuff that starts to overlap, um, like self-intersecting splines, those can't be reversed or normaled either because half the spline is reversed, half isn't. So with that said, um, any of the diagnostic stuff, you can just say restore wire color at the end and it'll remember what it had before it did any diagnostic stuff. Um, also like the quick little demo, you know, if you wanna go through and say, find CAD blocks, it's gonna find anything that's red happens to be a piece of geometry that is tied to a CAD block. Now, this is a quick thing, say you have hundreds of thousands of CAD blocks, you can do selected areas to sort of get through it. I would not recommend cleaning your whole scene this way because even if I go through and say select red, um, delete my CAD blocks, it's gotten rid of them. But what there might be in your scene is um, CAD blocks that are isolated or um, were attached to geometry that's not there anymore. Um, so they're empty CAD blocks. So you want to use something like our forensic tool or you'll run through scan. Yeah, see there's 18 blocks in here. Delete them that way. So you always want to use sort of forensic as a cleanup. Um, but the reason this is here is just for a quick little clean checking splines possibly that you're going to, I don't know, there might be a reason why you want to keep the CAD blocks. You want to find out what hat, what um, splines are attached to that. Also with our um, spline tool, if we went through and say attach this, um, I'm going to go attach these. If it had CAD blocks in there, it's going to prompt you before it gets rid of them all uh, when you're attaching. And that's one thing with the splines. You know, a lot of the scripts out there is you'll select a whole bunch of splines, go try and do something, and it'll hang. It's because um, you also have CAD blocks selected, or when you attach stuff, stuff jumps all over the place, or rescales. And um, so they're always just a good idea to run forensic and get rid of stuff. All right, so our conform, um, for our beta, we're not releasing this yet because we're still sort of porting this over and uh, trying to get through a lot of the little bugs that people have found. So we'll jump over to um, the optimize and um, all this uh, subdivide, uh, curve to corner, and outline. So in this case, uh, if we look at this spline, it's got tons of knots all over it. Uh, so if we want to just, just simply take it, it's going to clean it up. Uh, we'll give you some basic settings that generally work pretty well for what you're working with. Uh, you can go ahead and change these uh, down to whatever you want. You can take it down to almost nothing. And uh, <laughs> uh, but you want to be careful. You don't want to take away. You want to have some sort of curve to stuff. So, and then. Um, Nothing is done until you hit commit. So if I was to exit out of this, it's not made any changes to the original spline. So this essentially is a preview. And then once you're set, you have to hit commit. Same thing with all of these utilities. So if I was to take this spline now and put it into subdivide, you're going to see these orange knots are the ones that it wants to add to subdivide stuff. So if I was to go down and subdivide this to an even pattern, um, that's what you're going to get. But if I jump out of this, it's not going to do it until I say commit. Um, the next is, and actually let me just draw a, a line here. Oops, that's a lathe. <laughs> uh, let me just draw a, oh, undo doesn't work on lathe. Let's get rid of you then. Okay, let me draw a line. And um, our next spline uh, tool is our outline. And the reason we use this is because in sort of bigger projects when we're scripting stuff over and we found that splines had overlapped. 
and which then made it sort of bad geometry. You couldn't extract, make faces out of it. So what we were working on is sort of more of a smart um, uh, outline where it gets rid of knots as you're working on it to, uh, so you didn't have overlapping. So once it gets down to the point of deleting these knots, so you'd never have overlapping splines. So it's a little bit different than the Max one. Um, and it was just something, we had to write this for a different, uh, it was sort of a building maker project that we were doing where it did interior time lapses. And uh, we needed this, so we had to write sort of an algorithm to do this. We figured we'd just throw it in the spline tools anyway. So, and then the last thing down here is um, curve to corner. So, uh, what this does, and this, if I have, oops, let me draw a line. So, say I just had some straight lines, and then possibly a curve, and then we'll go straight again. If I was to extrude this up, I would get hundreds of little faces in here, depending on um, sort of your um, stepping and whatnot. So a lot of the times you want to take this corner and turn it into, sorry, in any sort of curve, you want to turn it into corner knots. So if I select this right here, you're going to see the orange ones are the ones that now it wants to add. So I can bring this down to say whatever I want, commit this, and now when I extrude this, so if I take, let's just say extrude, there we go. Um, let me just go over to this side and go into say edge faces. You can actually see now that it's actually, it's not as heavy of geometry because we've sort of taken that curve and made them into corner knots. So that's what that's for. Um, the very last thing in our utility pretty much is just to toggle on and off. And this shows every knot, spline knot in your scene. It's a toggle on and off. So just if you want to go over and sort of see how geometry is in your scene, um, you can do that. Uh, so that's our scribe. Um, we have a couple other things we're just working on in the uh, that we'll have out probably next week, uh, which is, uh, of course, overlapping, which is a big one. So if you have spline with extra segments, uh, you can go in here and diagnose, do the diagnostics. You can remove it or detach it or delete it. Um, so that'll be sort of helpful in the future as well. So that's our scribe utility, sort of a, a more of a, a, a bigger sort of walkthrough. Thanks a lot, guys, and enjoy. See you.